Three numbers are consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. The sum of the three numbers is 45, and their product is 3,240. Find the three numbers. So we're going to say A, B, and C to be three consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. And so when we find the sum of these, A plus B plus C, we get 45. And we multiply them, we get 3,240. So this is what is given to us. Now because A, B, and C are consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence, we can write them in terms of the original or the first quote unquote uh, term with a common difference. So just for this problem, I'm gonna assume that A is less than B is less than C. So in order to get B from A, you have to add a common difference. So B could be represented as A plus D. And because C is greater than A and B, C is gonna be A plus 2D. So now I can make, I can replace this equation over here with these two. So we have A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D. That's gonna equal 45. So that is 3A plus 3D is 45. And if we divide both sides by three, we get A plus D is 15. So A plus D turns out to be B. So that's this over here. So this guy is gonna be B. So really what it comes down to is finding, if we can find the common difference, we're good to go. Okay, so we just said that A plus D is 15. So now we're going to plug that into the product. So remember the product is 3,240. So instead of B and C, we're gonna have A plus D and A plus 2D. So we're going to um, write A plus 2D as just A plus D and then plus D. Because I wanna take advantage of A plus D being 15. So in both of these parentheses, A plus D is gonna be 15. So if A times 15 times 15 plus D, that is equal to 3,240. We can divide both sides by 15 and then distribute the A to both the 15 and the D. So we have 15A plus AD is equal to 216. From here, I can uh, factor this out and, or actually I can substitute rather. So over here we have A plus D is 15, so D is 15 minus A, and that goes in over here for D. So this is what we found so far, and this, and this is where we left off. So what I did here is distributed the A to both the 15 and the negative A, to get 15a plus 15a minus a squared equals 216. Bringing everything into the left, combine like terms, we end up with negative a squared plus 30a minus 216. From here I can factor this out into first factor on a negative one, and then we have quantity a minus 18 times quantity a minus 12. Set both factors equal to zero and get a is equal to 18 and 12. So now we get two answers. So which one is it? Well, let's go back over here. Remember this was B. A plus D is 15, that's B. If we plug in A is 18, then you have uh, A being greater than B, which we assumed that was not the case. So if you, we go back here, We assumed that A was less than B. Okay. So that would not work. So therefore, we'll say that A has to be 12. Now if A is 12, D has to be three. So then we go over here, A is 12, we said B is 15, so C has to be 18. And so those are my three consecutive terms.